doctors in the Philippines are making a pitch for euthanasia or mercy killing, particularly in what they consider as special cases. Camille Elemia tells us more. Euthanasia comes from the two Greek words eu, which means happy, and thanatos, which means death. It refers to the practice of intentionally ending a life in order to relieve pain and suffering, or in other words, mercy killing. Euthanasia has been practiced since biblical times, but has always been controversial. There are several types of euthanasia, active and passive, voluntary, non-voluntary, and involuntary euthanasia. Active euthanasia is killing a patient by active means, for example, injecting a patient with a lethal dose of a drug. Passive euthanasia is intentionally letting a patient die by withholding artificial life support such as a ventilator or feeding tube. Voluntary euthanasia is done with the consent of the patient. Non-voluntary euthanasia is done without the consent of the patient. Involuntary euthanasia is against the patient's wish to die and is sometimes considered murder. There are many possible combinations of these types, and most are morally controversial. In the Philippines, euthanasia is illegal, but families of patients have the right to withdraw artificial life support of their relatives, which will pass as passive euthanasia. Filipino patients enjoy a right to refuse diagnostic and medical treatment, provided that he is of right age and mind. In 1997, a bill was authored in the Philippine Senate as part of a 16-point patients' rights bill. That bill proposed the legalization of passive rather than active euthanasia. But what remains is active euthanasia in which doctors can give dangerous doses to patients, especially those with terminal illnesses. Some say it is homicide or murder, while others say it aids in suicides. Euthanasia is legal in some parts of the world. Some doctors are now starting to openly support active euthanasia, but only for certain cases. Dr. Leo Olarte of the Philippine Medical Association believes that in certain cases, active euthanasia is acceptable, especially for terminally ill patients. I think uh, Congress should uh, examine uh, the advantages and disadvantages. Because there uh, is advantage yung active euthanasia like terminal cancer or terminal disease illnesses wherein uh, pain relief, adequate pain relief is not effective and pain is excruciating. Olarte says now is the time to inform the public about euthanasia's pros and cons. Some of its advantages include respect for the dignity of life and for the person's right to be free from intolerable pains while its disadvantages revolve on God's sole authority to create and take away life in this world. The Catholic Church has always been firm in its stand against active euthanasia. They, however, recognize that passive euthanasia has been a practice in the country and sees nothing wrong with that. Kahit terminally ill yung, yung uh, pasyente, wala pa rin karapatan ang pasyente or yung mga nakapalibot sa kanya or mga doctors to end it by themselves. Uh, kasi healing nga yun. Healing nga yun. The, just because it is terminally ill, it does not change the definition of, uh, of killing. Mm -hmm. Ang nagbigay sa atin ng buhay, yung nakakataas yung in our Christian um, perspective or belief, it is God who gave us the life and therefore He is the, has the only right to take it away. Filipinos are divided on the matter. Others, mostly youth, believe euthanasia is a practical solution and is acceptable in some cases. More on the practical side na tayo, the, over ano, yung, uh, yung religion natin. Parang doon ako sa, kung mami mo ayaw mo na mahirapan yan eh, di ba? Yung ganon. So parang uh, isiset aside ko na lang yung, ano, yung religion over yung practical reasons na, yung reality. If ever naman, siyempre ayaw mo naman yung relatives mo makita na parang naghihirap na sila, di ba? So might as well, parang tapusin mo na lang yung paghihirap nila. 
Anyway, kailangan ni um, as far as I know, kailangan naman ng concept ng family, diba? ng relatives. So, if ever na okay naman sa kanila, so okay na din yon. So, at least mababawasan yung paghihirap ng kapamilya mo. But in a predominantly Catholic country, for some, religion and faith still come first. Parang hindi ako power kasi being a Catholic, di ba, parang may takot ka sa Diyos. And parang kahit na mamamatay na, gusto mo parang i-revive, di ba? Uh, Siyempre, hindi ako pabor doon kasi uh, sa Christian, Christian country, hindi tayo pabor sa mga mercy killing. Pero, siyempre, may kinukonsider tayo. Kung ang lifestyle naman siguro, nung may pasyente nang naghihirap na or ang kanyang income talaga is maliit lang talaga, kaya na-afford talaga, talagang ubus-ubus na, uh, siguro napag-uusapan yon Kasi marami na rin ako nabalita ng mga ganon na talagang sila na mismo, yung pamilya na nag-decide sila na uh, yun, uh, doon na talaga pupunta sa mercy killing. Passive euthanasia, in its strictest sense, is a usual practice in hospitals. Poverty also dictates that families resort to the cheapest solutions to a critical medical condition. So as active euthanasia is debated by those for and against it, there are just so many Filipinos who have very little choice on the matter. Camille Elemia, Solar News.